I'm Dave, and this is Austin Eats. A smoked pork shoulder is one of the easiest things that you can cook in a Kamado Joe or a Big Green Egg. I'm going to take an 8-pound bone-in Boston butt, season it very simply, and smoke it in the Kamado Joe for about 5 hours. Then I'm going to wrap it up in foil and put it back in for another 2.5 or 3 hours. That's going to create pork that is just tender and juicy and literally will fall off the bone. This is going to make an awesome pulled pork sandwich and is right here on Austin Eats. I'm going to start by making a very simple rub. This is nothing more than black pepper, some kosher salt, and paprika. I'm not using smoked paprika because this is going to get plenty of smoke in the smoker. So regular paprika, give it a stir. Now I'm going to rub the roast all over with a little bit of olive oil and then generously apply my rub. Want to get it all over, make sure you get it on the ends too. Let's fire up the smoker. So I've added four chunks of applewood. I'm going to set this up for indirect heat with a tray of water underneath my roast and we're off and running. This is going to smoke for about five hours or so until the internal temperature hits 165. I've got my fireboard set up to be low and slow and this is ready to go. Now, five hours later, here's what I've got. Oh, it smells so good. I'm done with the smoke. Time to take this out and wrap it up. So the roast is now 168 degrees inside. Time to wrap it up tight in foil and put it back in the smoker. I'm using foil rather than butcher paper for two reasons. Number one, I want to really tightly seal this so that I make sure that any heat that's coming off of the roast stays within the packet and helps further tenderize the meat. Second, I want to retain any juice that comes off of this roast while it's cooking and butcher paper is just going to leak everywhere. I'm using a double layer of foil just in case I snag it, putting it back in. I don't want to tear it and lose all this juice. So let's get this wrapped up. And I'm doing each one independently so that I can get a good seal on this thing. And this outer one, I'm going to just make like a, I'm making a tent. I'm going to fold that down and crimp the ends. Okay, that's ready to go back in the smoker for another two or three hours until the internal temperature hits 195. I'm going to pull it at 195 because I know there will be some carryover cooking that will take this above 200 with no problem, and that's my target temperature. Back in the smoker it goes. All right, I've had this sitting in my cooler now for about 30 minutes. Let's unwrap it and see what we've got. Oh, it just smells awesome. Oh, and it is full of juice. And it's steaming hot and absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Pull the probe out. Don't need that anymore. Look at that. It's very moist. It is super tender. There is so much liquid in here, it's just amazing. So the reason that I rest this after I smoke it is I want to have as much of that juice reabsorb into the meat. If I don't, and I, if you take this right off of the smoker and cut it, all of that juice will immediately run out and you will have a very dry piece of meat. This is absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'm going to transfer this to a plate so that I can pull the meat on that and that way we can get rid of all of this mess. This is a little bit better. Now I want you to notice this right here is the bone and as I lifted it the roast just absolutely separated right there on this bone. So I can easily grab this bone and just wiggle it right out just like that. That's how tender this is. But this now just crumbles. Look at that. Wow. 
That is absolutely delicious. And it just smells so good. I love it. So it's very easy to just shred this by gently pulling it with a fork. It just comes right apart. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. While the pulled pork was absolutely great by itself, I just couldn't help myself and had to slather it up with some of my favorite barbecue sauce and make a big old pulled pork sandwich. And it was fantastic. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, let me know and please subscribe. I've got new videos coming out several times a week. See you next time on Austin Eats.